Hey everybody, Lance Goyke here. So we alluded to this fact a little bit at the end of the last video on blood glucose during your workouts. What I want to talk about today is that if I have a longer workout, maybe a more lower intensity, but long, long duration, maybe longer than an hour and a half workout, that's when I might actually need some sort of uh, intra-workout nutrition. So uh, kind of a hot topic, <laughs> the whole peri-workout, pre-workout, post-workout, intra-workout, what can I do to keep my energy levels high? What can I do to do the most work during my exercise? And what can I do to maximize my muscle gain or minimize my muscle loss if it's you know more of a cardiovascular workout? So biggest thing is that our muscle glycogen generally runs out if we have continuous activity for about an hour and a half. Um, and it'll start to pull more of, or your muscles will start to pull more of the energy, more of the glucose from the bloodstream. And at that point, you know, things, we start to get worried because the, the brain likes to be in a really tight range of blood glucose. And you might start to get symptoms of hypoglycemia. You might start to feel a little foggy, um, a little slower. Your performance might decrease. And that's just because I can't get as much energy into the muscle and into the brain. Um, so I might want to, at that point, take one of those, you know, those runner goo things or those backpacker goo things. So they're really easy to digest. They don't upset your stomach so much. Um, and they also supply you with carbohydrate that is readily available to be digested and put directly into the bloodstream. So as I ingest food, it goes into my gastrointestinal tract and then the GI tract secretes and you know the, all of the GI tract secretes some sort of enzymes that help start to digest stuff. And that makes it small enough so that I can absorb it. And when it's absorbed, it's absorbed directly into the bloodstream. So it, it's in the whole of the, just your anatomy here, it's in the whole of the GI tract surrounding and within the uh, lining, the tube lining of the GI tract is your bloodstream and those, things, the food that you've eaten in the hole just starts to go out here and then it just sets itself into the bloodstream. And from there, it's it's dispersed throughout the body really, really quickly because um, we exchange a lot of blood every minute. Um, so biggest things are one, we need to remember that if my workout is really, really long, I probably need to start uh, supplementing with some sort of exercise. Like if you're going to do a Spartan race, I would recommend having some sort of intra workout carbohydrate. I'd make sure you have some sort of electrolytes as well. Um, same goes for a marathon or maybe even a half marathon, depending on how fast you run. Um, and then the other major point is to make sure that it's easily digestible. Like I don't want you to sit down and have a ton of water or a ton of shake because um, it's going to slosh around in your stomach, literally. Um, and I don't want you to have, you know, you're not going to sit down and have an eight ounce steak and a bunch of mashed potatoes because that's really heavy, right? I don't need all that fat. I don't need to digest all that fat. That's more of a slow kind of digesting process. That's, that's something that is great to have most of the time, but during a workout probably doesn't have much of a um, relevance. Um, so anything that is kind of maybe a little bit more sugary, um, quicker to absorb. So those, those, you know, runner goos are a great example. You can, um, you can even just have like fruit juice, maybe not the most healthy thing, but if you're running that much, it's probably not going to affect you too much. Or if you're moving around that much, it's probably not going to affect you too much. That's the whole principle behind uh, Gatorade, that and the electrolytes. They, um, you know, people were having really, really long football practices. And, you know, after you work out for so much time, your performance is going to start to decrease. So you need to keep that energy high and you need to keep those electrolytes high. That fights off the cramping and it keeps you making more and more energy so that your muscles can use it and so that you can keep performing.